today's generation is very much aware about the emotional and mental health. Like said Gordon very much well said, emotional labor is available to all of us. It is rarely exploited as a competitive advantage. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, this is Siddhi Kalibari with the all new episode of Emotional Labor. emotional labor so emotional labor means many things to many people but to simplify it it refers when someone feels the need to suppress their own emotions it is a very work specific role that involves managing emotions during interaction to show professional goals so as we can see that emotional labor consists of two words first emotional that means emotions and feelings are involved and other word labor which means that there are some efforts involved early hostel created this term in 1983 to describe the things that service workers do that goes beyond physical or mental duties but to simplify it it refers when someone feels the need to suppress their own emotions now this shows that we cannot take into account only physical labor but also emotional mental health though it is invisible it is a skill that is required in the workplace and you it's such a nature often reflects on non work life this brings us to the question why discussing about emotional labor is important significance of emotional labor there has been a shift the way the world thinks today and at the present feelings and mental health is openly spoken about now one reason for this major shift is that recently how one interacts with the customers suppliers etc has become important in service sector also in lot of areas of work and marketing more than the actual business the emotional element has become more important now since we know what it is and it's important let's go bit in depth deep acting where a person works to place his or her private emotional state into one that is in line what it is socially acceptable for a given situation this is to say deep acting changes how you privately feel surface acting where a person puts on a face essentially and places his or her outward emotional appearance in line what is socially expected or acceptable in a certain situation in other words surface acting changes your public display of emotions there are some strategies to manage emotional labor first don't be little it's important because emotional labor is not easy to define performing it may not come to mind as actual work yet stepping in when a new hire appears overwhelmed or presenting a staff grievance to the boss in a diplomatic manner requires essential soft skills can recognize the efforts of others a difficult aspect of doing emotional labor is feeling like others fail to notice it comment a colleague who calmed everyone down during heated debate or provided a sympathetic ear when you needed to vent about a rude client your appreciation of others may lead to a change atmosphere that values emotional labor third required fairness thank your manager for his faith in your abilities and then ask for less on your plate in exchange because such conversations require extra care and time communication is a key so unless you don't put your feelings and needs and wants in words you won't be able to get it through fourth resist bottling up feeling bottling up your frustration can take a physical and mental toll this might mean going for a walk to calm down after handling a customer's nastiness or learning how to give constructive criticism to a coworker instead of trying to bite your tongue to get a better understanding of emotional labor here are some questions to ask yourself and perhaps to explore with your team what are the emotional labor requirements of your job 
How do you deal with these requirements? How often do you experience emotional conflict? Do you think emotional conflict has led to emotional exhaustion? What is the purpose or motive of emotional labor? In simple words, when you engage in emotional labor, you control your feelings to fulfill the goals and expectations of your organization. From a practical standpoint, this means that you either express your positive feelings or hide or manage your negative feelings. After learning the whole theory of emotional labor, we come to the conclusion. Overall, we think the idea of emotional labor is excellent and that it's a subject that individuals and leaders should learn and reflect on. In conclusion, one thing we have realized that it is very important to spread awareness about it to everyone who is affected by it. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, comment and share and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.